guys, Ranger Elizabeth here from the Parklands and we are in my backyard and today we have a special treat because I was on a hike alone at the Parklands this weekend and I came upon something really really cool and I grabbed it and I brought it home with me because I wanted to make a video about it because I thought it would be cool to show you all what I found. So let's take a look here. Alright, so this is what I found. This is a log sitting next to Floyd's Fort Creek and you can see that gray blob to the left and then there's also another one um, up at the top of this log and these are bird castings. So you might also know them as owl pellets, but it's not just owls that create pellets, it's all raptors. So I don't know what raptor this came from, but we're going to dissect it to see what this raptor ate. So raptors... Um, when they eat, do not have teeth. So they will spot their prey and they will grab it in their mouth and then they will actually just swallow it without chewing their food. And so their stomachs do not know how to process fur and bones. So they have a special pocket in their throat where they keep all the fur and bones from their prey. And once they're done eating, they'll actually cough up those fur and bones in the form of a casting. So the materials I have, I just have like a white piece of paper here. I've got my tweezers and I have my castings. Um, and so I got my tweezers just to kind of help me out. I probably will end up using my fingers. Um, and so with that in mind, uh, we are going to, once we're done, go inside and wash our hands because we should be doing that anyway, but we will do it today. All right, so I finished my dissection of the owl pellets, um, and I can say that this bird was definitely really strong because lots of the bones um, have been broken in half completely. So you can see it's the top of the bone, but it's been broken in half. And this is definitely two different animals in here. So you can see right here, I've got a small jaw bone, and there's a series of small bones in here. Um, I can't really say for sure what animal it is, but looking at the size of the jaw, I'm going to say it's probably a mouse. Um, and then I also have a larger animal, so you can see that some of the bones are much bigger. And this one is much bigger than a mouse. My safe guess, um, since I didn't find a skull or anything, is probably a rat, but I don't really know. Um, some of my cool findings, though, I did find a sacrum which is the part that connects the spine to the tail. And I also have two legs here. So this is a leg, and the toes with the claws are still intact, connect, connected to the, uh, to the legs. All right, so to finish up this dissection, I'm going to put everything back in my specimen cup. I will dispose of it properly, and then we are gonna go inside and wash our hands.